All right, today we're gonna to talk about a quick little segment for tan stagers for boys. Uh, this can show up on your tests, exams, you're gonna use it a lot in your page rotations, and it might show up on your boards too. It's really hard to find just a simple diagram on uh, this, how it shows it. Let's get right to it. Stage one and five pretty much is not really a factor here because stage one is pretty much just nothing going on and stage five is pretty much mature development. So you really have to just memorize and focus stage two through four. Two and three is probably the most ones used and get confused a lot. So let's start right here on the left side with genital development. So stage one, I said pretty much nothing's happening. It's a pre-puberty. But stage two, this is where kind of like you see some redness in the scrotum, a little growth. So the scrotum is what's happening in stage two. Stage three, this is where the penis will occur in length, but not in width. So stage three is length. And stage four is length and width. So that's the difference of two, three, and four. Two is the scrotum redness that uh, grows. Stage three is the length, and stage four is the length and width. Uh, as far as the coarse hairs and stuff, they don't really mention too much about it, but it's good to know during your rotations and stuff. Like stage stage one, there's nothing. Stage two, they'll be just a little bit on the sides. Stage three, it'll get a little darker, coarser, and more curly. Stage four, it becomes more growth, but it's not fully uh, up towards the umbilicus. Stage five is pretty much the mature growth where the hair is fully all over the place. So like I said, stage three through four is the main ones. You just have to differentiate mostly like uh, the penis length and width on which one the difference is. If you got that down, you'll pretty much know the answers on your test, know how to differentiate it in clinical practice, and that's the simplest way you can probably learn the tan stages for boys. Because other than that, there's really no other simple way to learn it. And whichever exams show you is always going to ask you for the length, or they're going to ask for like the length and width, and you're pretty much going to pick from there. Or they'll just show like uh, which... Uh, uh, what is it? Patient has uh, testes that have grown. Which stage is he at? And you'll say stage two, because stage three is mostly the length of the penis, and then a little width and growth of the testes. But yeah, that's all it is. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. That's probably the easiest, simplest form I can give you. Uh, this is a nice little booklet that kind of shows it well. I like it. I use it a lot during clinical practice and had it in my back pocket whenever needed and really impressed my preceptor. Uh, she actually provided it to me, so shout out to her. All right, peace.